Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And today I have another Let's Build video for you. This time it's from Beyond the Gates of Antares, Isaurian Pulse Bike Command Squad. Very awesome looking uh, command squad. I do love the look of the biomechanical uh, Isaurians. They're pretty awesome. Uh, now, <clears throat> this is uh, the Pulse Bike Squad. Uh, it's, this is the command squad. There is a regular pulse bike squad. Uh, they pretty much go together to go together the, uh, for the most part the same way. Uh, I will do a video much later on uh, just a regular uh, pulse bike squad. But uh, here you get the studio art, which is fantastic. They did a great job. Uh, and it gives you a little bit of story. And it tells you what's in here. You got one pulse bike commander with a plasma carbine uh, mounted with a, plasma, a pulse bike with twin plasma carbines. Uh, so double the power there. <laughs> uh, and then you get two times pulse bike troopers with plasma carbines and three plasma lance upgrades. So if you want to upgrade them with plasma lance, you can uh, do so. Uh, which I think I'm going to keep two of them. Just like in the picture here, there's two twin <clears throat> uh, plasma carbine, uh, pulse, uh, uh, twin plasma carbines. And there's one uh, plasma lance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one with the plasma lance and I'm going to do the rest of them with uh, the twin uh, plasma carbines. So let's take a look what's inside. So this is a resin metal kit, as you can see. Uh, <clears throat> in the box here, there's the uh, how to clean the resin kits. I also have a video if you guys want to look at my playlists and find uh, on how to clean War Warlord resin. I have a step-by-step -step step process of how I do it. And in this bag, we got three three stands, and we got one for the uh, um, the drone. I'm assuming uh, four flight stands, the clear plastic flight stands, and here is the models. So we have all resin, beautifully sculpted pulse bike and figures. My God, <laughs> sorry. Fanboying it a little bit. Uh, these are really nice. Man, these are really nice. Just the biomechanical look on these guys. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So that's the resin. <clears throat> now, here is the weapons. Obviously, they have options for you to do plasma lance or twin plasma carbines. Uh, we're going to do one plasma lance and the other two, two plasma carbines. So <clears throat> it just, uh, you could magnetize these um, on the ends here. Uh, these can be magnetized very easily. I'm not going to, um, just because of my purposes, I, I will only probably ever use the uh, one plasma lance uh, for the points and stuff like that. I'm sure there's ways you can um, and here's a spotter drone. I'm sure there's ways that uh, <clears throat> would work with three plasma lances and stuff like that. But I don't play a lot of uh, like artillery type lists. So, but you certainly could. All you would have to do is put a magnet in this side and a magnet inside the resin here, which would be really super simple to do. Magnet, magnet, boom. You can switch them back and forth. So. Uh, but just for the purpose of the video, like I said, I'm going to do one plasma lance and and the rest will be uh, plasma car twin plasma carbines. So as uh, as I've learned out of any bolt action or Antares game, you just want lots of fire po firepower and lots of shots. So, <laughs> but uh, the more dice you roll, the the better off you are. So, but uh, <clears throat> this looks like it's for the leader. This is his sensors and stuff that's on his back. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you all the tools uh, that I normally use to build things. And then uh, I'll be back in a minute uh, to show you what it looks like when I'm finished. So we'll see you in a second.
All right, there you have it. There's the Isaurian Pulse Bike Command Squad. Uh, like I've said before, the Isaurians are probably the coolest looking, um, uh, I guess, faction uh, for the uh, up to date um, for the uh, Beyond the Gates of Antares game. The biomechanical is awesome. I love the weapons, the look of the weapons. Um, I can't wait to uh, get the paint scheme figured out. Uh, we haven't seen the Viral yet, which they're going to be coming out soon. Uh, they're uh, going to be a pretty cool faction too, I think. But uh, putting these together. Now, I started by putting the the metal uh, gun parts onto the big old piece of resin here. Um, the reason why I did this and before I put it on the stand and, and, and glued the stand to the base is because you have to take this and put it on the base, the base perfectly um, so it's balanced. Um, if you put it in the center, you're going to have all this dead space in the back and it's going to look out of balance. Not only that, there's more weight in the front where this metal piece is and the resin piece is lightweight. So by putting this base piece on with the gun first and then gluing the base to the actual resin piece and then gluing it to the base of the miniature here, uh, you can get it at the right proportion to where it'll sit. It'll rock and it won't go anywhere. Um, it could go out of balance if you have the, the stand itself in the center. Um, so that's why I did what that I did there. And there's some gaps, um, small gaps between uh, like right here uh, to even it out to where it doesn't look crooked or anything like that. I just evened it as best I possibly could, glued it, let it dry, glued it again, fill, filled in this gap filling glue right here um, for these noticeable gaps. Um, the last thing I did was put on the extra pieces for the, so for the commander, uh, his cool looking <laughs> tubes that come off the back. You had to bend this into place. And the best way to do that is to put the top piece in and to take the bottom piece and slowly bend it to where it fits in these two holes. And of course, last but not least, you have the arms. Uh, now they have an inlet and they have two different arm options uh, for this fella right here. Um, the commander obviously has the hand that's coming up to point, but you can have this guy with a pistol or you can have him driving the bike itself, the pulse bike. That's what this arm is for, it's extra. Also, these, these miniatures have the option to put different weapons uh, on them themselves. Like I was telling you guys earlier, um, you can magnetize these. It's really simple to do. You just put a drill hole, drill hole, put a couple magnets, and then you can magnetize these. But I'm only going to have one with the plasma lance, and the other two are going to have the twin plasma carbine. Um, <clears throat> these are the purpose of this command squad, along with my other pulse bike. The other pulse bikes are gonna, just going to have the twin mags, is to, to zoom around and pour shots just as many shots as I can um, <clears throat> into infantry. So they run around and they're anti-infantry for me. So you're, I, I built it for a purpose. I certainly could have magnetized it for later, but I'm obviously going to probably get some more of these uh, later on in the future and um, maybe put some plasma lances on those or magnetize those in the future. And of course, spotted drone, really cool looking, all this biomechanical goodness. So, but uh, that's it. Um, I'm really happy with the way they went together. They weren't hard to do. Um, and uh, that's all I have. So thanks, thanks for sticking in there with me. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think of these guys or anything at all. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta. And we'll catch you in the next video.